Lil B, fuck him up. Lil B, fuck him up. What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Lobo. Hey, yeah. And in today's episode, we have Oregon State on the schedule. They are currently 1 0. This is our first Pac 12 conference game. So, this is a milestone, kind of, not really. And we are currently the number 15 team in the country. We're trying to move on up to the top. You know what I'm saying? But they are saying this is the semester's first test. I would agree with that only because it's a Pac-12 game. It's our first Pac-12 game. But we've had two tests already this season that are probably tougher than the one we're about to face. So I agree with that and I disagree with that. But the Lobos are all geared up to start their conference schedule this weekend. We ready to go, baby. We got two dubs under our belt and we ready for the third. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification catch bell the way you be notified the next time i drop a video just like this one also slide in that comment section talk to your boy y'all already know what the deal is and if you're new here you're about to find out but i already know why y'all here y'all ready to see some gameplay so let's get to it okay let's take a look at the team stats we'll look at oregon state the beavers their offense in the one game they've had is decent ain't no telling who they played but it's decent on the defensive side they're also decent i'm pretty sure they probably played a team that sucks probably fcs team to have stats like that but anyway if you look at your lobos our offense once again this year is off the chain the passing yards are there the total yards are there the points are there the rushing yards are a little bit down but we have two new guys in the backfield so we're figuring that out on the defensive side not been particularly great so far but we have faced two teams that were in the top 25 so yeah it's a give and take top players for the beavers we have a 97 overall halfback probably gonna get the ball shoved down our throat we got an 89 overall halfback again probably gonna get the ball shoved down our throat and we have an 89 overall middle linebacker top players for your lobos we have the heisman trophy winning quarterback ian smith and then we have the big leg punter mr anderson and then we have brandon washington the interception tackling machine Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports da, 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 NCAA da, 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 Football 14 da, da. pregame show presented by da, 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 da. Innovation da. that excites. It's time to, wants kick to, go to an off the Pac-12. Just one flavor. There are a lot of different ways. Oh to get yeah. It done. And we're going to be watching a couple of ways to get it done on the, the south side. Today. And as a fan of the game, trying to lead a be beaver's a mouth wide. Watch these two squads. One of whom wants to uh -huh. pitch it all over the yard and go fast. The other one who wants to control the tempo with a physical attack. Seeing these two teams go head to head is going to be a great treat. Let's do it, baby. That's all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. I'm David ready. and I will be with you at halftime. I'm ready like Freddy. Not Freddy Falcon. Or Freddy Hill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know it's time to kick off the pack. 12. Bitch. I hope my offense sends their defense to hell. Oh, shit. Ian. Trying to rain down touchdowns. Here in Corvallis, Oregon. What you Reeser gonna Stadium say now? For this game. And now let's head down to the coin I hope that we don't Michael play Zero. now. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. They go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield. Now how we wanna start. Slide. Decides to slide. Brad, this guy had a Make smart decisions. Right down again. 
He's scrambling. And he dropped it. And he dropped it. Scrambling around. Uh, Runs ain't with it. He's got room. Ain't give Over me. around the corner. Ah. Steps out of bounds. At about the 47-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you uh -huh. what, in today's game, you have it's to big have the Ian. ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And we got Caleb. And now we got, got Caleb. Caleb Cruz. He gets hit Let's go. The 10. CC, do you love me? Are you riding? Pause. That, yeah, that, that didn't sound good at all. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? That did not sound good at all. Touchdown! Oh, Damien James! And we are on the board first today. And, and I love it. Nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line. And, and we have number three, USC, taking down Washington, 38-28. to 28. That's a conference USC, matchup there. And for Moss... A huge day with four touchdown strikes. We're going to have to deal with USC sooner or later. In other games. The and we have Kentucky the over Louisville. For the and Utah and over BYU. The Louisville, they've lost two in a row. And for okay. Anderson, he ran for more than 100 yards. Kentucky Louisville should drop out of the rankings back. now. Rock down at the 35. Great concentration to pull it in. He's oh boy. Shit. And nobody's going to catch him. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. 65 yards on the screen. Last time I gave a shit, I got fucked. So many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine We players. blitz. They hit us with a screen. Oh, fucking do it again. <laughs> and 65 yards later, the game is tied. Have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks and the quarterback. Okay, Wallace right McCoy. Away. Now he tries to buy some time. Under pressure. Out of bounds. Still didn't get it. 35 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Ah. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. He has some room. He makes his way to about the 48. Nice run up the middle. Gets it out quickly. They'll knock him down for a loss. Look at the block. Just look at the block. When they got this guy, they expect him to be a future star, a top recruit. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Tackled at reducing pitch. There you go, Al Hall. Hands it off. Day day. Some open field. Day day. Day day. Day day making the play play. He got the TDs on the way. Took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well. But you can pull him out whenever you get ready. It can't get much better than that. He's going right. Damn. He ain't getting through that. He ain't getting through that. There was some movement on the line. And there's a false start on the offense. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Bag it up. You buck two beavers. Stop up the middle. Out here. Yeah, screen. Damn. There are mechanics by the quarterback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They'll bring him down at the 18. Shit. Pick it out. Right. Intercepted. That's Christian Ellis. He's on the run. He might be gone! He is! Christian Ellis with the big C! Touchdown! Who said my 
defense can't kind of get stops. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball. Christian Ellis is a chip off the old block. Can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Can I get a big pick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. <laughs> And we got number 21, Stanford, taking down Colorado, 42 to 25. Knowing they had to be impressive. And they should stay inside the rankings. They've won two straight. The Cardinal takes care of business and wins by 17. This defense is excellent on capitalizing on the No, no, no. Oh, my. Gain seven yards on that. man broke three tackles. Gets it. He's in space. And on the throw. Good open field tackle. And that will be the and end of the first the quarter. And we quarter. actually have a double digit Over. lead at the end of a first quarter. Take a picture. Save it in your phone. And throws it out of bounds. Just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. Bring him down. Around the 43 yard line. No. And he's going to get the first down. And they ran it. And down he goes. Right around the This man is just running us over, bro. Throws that away. He gets rid of this one. Bring him down. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Y'all better not let him get that. And about the 23 yard line. And they are going for it. So you know what that means. Hey, <laughs> 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 Bro, this man got sacked by his own lineman. I know you ain't. Oh, oh, oh. He's in trouble. Oh my god. Man, some guys open. Getting after that quarterback. Williams. It's a ball left side. And he's taken down. Okay, day day. And he is drilled at the 42. Run down after a nice run up the middle. Here he goes. He's taken down at the okay, 44. Caleb. Slide down. To slide. He's scrambling. Throw it away. And he throws it away. You know, he took away the screen. Like He's going to try and scramble. And, oh my God. He didn't even try to catch it. There we go, Brian Murphy. And a quick throw. Brian and Murphy. They push him out the seven yard line. The offense caught him flat footed to convert that third and long. Murphy. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. And we're going to get up in there with Day Day. Williams has had high expectations since he was a oh, high school. Oh, yeah. Now it looks like he's every bit as good as suggested. And we got number four, Miami, losing to Florida Atlantic. Gotcha, bitch. Oh. Bring him down. He's going to get sacked. I think that one's Daniel on the Jackson. line. They've got to do a better job the of sack. their blocks. Or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask get all game. Get the quarterback. Okay, right on top of it. Oh my. No, no. Oh, man. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. It's for this reason that he is the most dynamic player on this field today. He can run the ball through you oh, all around. Damn it. And he's tackled around the 36 yard line. He's on the run. He's got the corner. Where are you going? He's at the 20. If I didn't get on the man. Ain't no telling why you would have ran. And that's their third oh first down of the drive. God. The defense needs the defense. He's running right at him. Them. And then all of a sudden he just turned. No problem putting points on the board. Rock down. 
at the nine yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Well, what do they call it? There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Personal foul. Roughing the pass. Roughing the pass. Dude, what the fuck? Bro, I was right there. It's me right here. I'm getting blocked. I'm playing as Tyler right here. 56. Like, I'm right here. He hasn't thrown the ball yet. Hasn't thrown the ball yet. I'm trying to get. This is absolute bullshit! Nope. And they make the stop at the two yard line. Denied. He dives and he'll And they denied again. Denied. No, sir! Ah, I could have sacked him, but I thought he was going to hand it off. Fuck! What? Damn it! The tight end Damn. scored that time, and with authority. Braddy's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact. And we have number nine, Georgia, losing to South Carolina, 23-21. to And they're currently number nine, but they have an AL. But we're undefeated, and we can't even get in the top ten. Ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, across the 30. Oh! Midfield, and he shoved out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Get the six-yarder. offense is just clicking on all cylinders. Should be right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Ian everything looking good today. Moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Here's a screen pass. Gets Get it to that the block. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Go, Day Day. He's got an opening. He's at the 20. Mm, you get out of bounds. bounds. Caleb okay, Cruz, get up in there! Ah! To the left, to the left, run that HB stretch to the left. They can't stop it, nobody can. Caleb Cruz is in the end zone again. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. And then they run it. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 49. He's hit and taken down. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. I mean, they legit just going right across the middle every time. He launches one for the end Big zone. Big it up, come on, Chris Mellis. You could have had you two, right my boy. Into the hands of the safety. Here they come. And look at that. Wide open. Nice catch. That's just how they drew it up. From the 18 yard line. It's first down. Uh oh, you ain't get it off. And that's John Walker. Fires it out. And I'm on a timeout. To the call timeout. And kick the field goal. You big dummies. Three touchdown advantage. But we'll take the 35 to. 14 lead in the halftime. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This first half not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel for sure. They're not sending this out and saying hire me because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up because that didn't work. If I can I mean, ever get gonna, my defense to together, bro, we gave so up 218 passing that yards. Game and you think you have a plan in a half to stop a designed offense? It's not working. You got to do something a little bit different this second half. They 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 planned all week. They if we can just properly, cut that down, bro, cut it in half. The quarterback and make things happen on defense. Just about ready to start. It'd be a blowout. It's already a blowout, but still, it'd be even worse. Some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad. 
Wide open. That's a great tackle. No. Fires out to his right. And he hits him hard at the 49 yard line. Run right side. Heading for the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. There we go. There he goes. Around the 47 yard line. Bring it down. And he drops it. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate. He heaves it deep. Ain't no way. And it's tipped off by Michael Pollard. And he has himself another interception. Ah, and he don't get a pick six. But we'll take it. Nice interception. And an that boy got nice hands. Oh, yeah, oh my guy. God. He on X Games no mode. Throw it his way and he picking it out because he can. The game, Big 30. He sure can play, I'll tell you that. He's tackled at the 45. Williams. Ball outside. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings him second and five. I believe I can I don't even know why I keep trying to run play action. A quarterback should take care of his offensive lineman. Oh no! I threw that right at him. One day I'm going to quit turning the damn ball over. Taken down at the that was a good solid tackle. And he's tackled at the 36 no, sir. Line. No, sir. Yeah. He'll take it from the 18. And they're doing fast. To the 26 yard line. Now, I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Oh, get down, get about down. The 39 yard line. He's at midfield. They go day! Day! With a day! Day! Right on the middle. Hit him with the little wiggle. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he oh, brings to yeah. the team. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. No. And he tackles him hard at the 24. I don't know who he threw that to. It didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Martinez. Gets it on the uh -uh. And he's tackled he tried it. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he dropped and he it. He has it on the corner. Ah. He's taken down at the 45 yard line. Still picked up a lot of yards. Won't need you doing that, though, Al. Don't need you doing it. Down the field. With a quick throw. There's Corey Cox. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Cox! With the TD! That's TD pass number three. The Let it go! The quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for Corey the target. Corey Cox. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. Quick throw. Bitch! Who is supposed to be covering over there? They ain't gonna put a face mask on top of it. Bitch! Six. And he is drilled at 
the floor. Right up the middle. Oh, Things can get shit. pretty fierce in this cool territory. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm. And did a good Brian job Murphy. of taking apart the defense. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. First down. Reminds me of Buddy Murphy. I don't know how many people watch. I uh, used to watch WWE when Buddy Murphy was there. Here. He's here to Caleb. And that will be the end of the third quarter. And we are up 49 to 21. The Lobos are up big. 28 point game. You can put your foes up if you want to, but it's over, folks. To his receiver. Uh, and down he goes to 37 yard line. He's got it with uh, the out of bounds around the 23 yard line. Uh, Little handoff. Makes it. That's a face mask. Not going to call it. Get her on. Yep, there's down. He's been a force. Day day. Three times until they can make it a defense pay pay. Get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Throws it deep. Pick up. Michael Palmer again. It's intercepted. That boy, boy got hands. Interception. You know, you look he at got this hands. And they're making mistakes, but how about the effort and the tenacity from give this defense? Give me that. Give me that. Even with the big lead. He goes down. Got him again, Brian Murphy. He's tackled at about the 25 yard line. I'm looking for you, Murphy. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. Man, I'm about trying to take Day Day out, ain't he? That brings up second and. He makes it out to maybe the 16 yard line. The 10 makes it to okay. the eight. You know saying? Get your keys out. He makes it to the six yard line. Setting up no. the running backs got it on the screen, it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Uh. He's gonna try and scramble. Al Hall, I see a touchdown. touchdown. A lot of people are going to see this as running up the score, but I'm sure this coach will tell you he's just running. And we have an upset. Miami loses to Florida Atlantic. FAU. They need to fall a long way. A long way. And we're not in the top 20. We're not in the top 10 after this, bro. The Owls pull it out by a field goal. Rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Bro, what you doing? Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. Like, who are you playing? We in man, so what are you doing? He just stopped. Holy shit! Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. No. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 30. They get a one yard loss. Actually, lost yard that time. Really? They go with the run. And he's taken down at about the 19 yard line. Oh, you got a clipping? And I'm not this sure when it was thrown. Let's Give me that. Thank you. There you go, Kyla. The D line did a good job of nullifying. Give yourself the block another TFL. Never allowed the linebacker to roam free. They're probably gonna go for it. But still not enough for the first down. Wide open. To make a nice catch. There's a little bit of happy feet there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball star offense. 
Five yard that penalty. penalty. Move back back it up. Yeah, with so many You're losing guys anyway. Out there, it's bound to happen. No, sir. I don't think he got anything on that. Shot to around the nine. Oh, you've been picked off. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter. Quick pass. And he's tackled at the one yard line. They're going to score again. Watch. Their attitude. And there it is. Sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. That is great. And Tough that's why the defensive right numbers there. always Game suck. It doesn't look like Man, the we did not pull pick it up. Oh, no. oh, 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 what was the point of kicking an onside kick if you're just going to run the clock out? Okay. <laughs> the Lobos know that they have to enjoy this guy. I was just going to take a knee anyway. Somewhere down the line he's but Ian has a total well, of 336 future, yards. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this Really didn't have to do a whole lot passing really this game. Caller, the Day Day the had 150 yards on the ground. Group, I think Ian was, was right at 100 yards on the ground. If that not over there. Free A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another yeah, edition. It was, it was a um, it was a balanced effort on the offensive side today. We were not just relying on Ian to make everything happen. And I like it that way. Cause when it's Ian or Bust, that's when we start throwing a whole lot of interceptions. Like we did in the first two games. But I was getting in my own way in the first two games. They, they look really, really good today. Running it right up the middle. And he's gone. Day Day. He got away way. And then we find Corey Cox. For the touchdown. That's an interception right there. Michael Pollard had himself two. All right, let's take a look at the player stats. We got Ian Smith here. He went 15 to 21 for 249. Four TDs did have the one mistake by me, but he completed 71% of his passes and he was only sacked twice. On the rushing side, Day Day Williams led the way with 150 yards, even on 10 attempts, three TDs. Ian also chipped in with 87 yards on 11 attempts and Caleb Cruz had himself 41 yards on eight attempts. On the receiving side, it was pretty much all Brian Murphy with 106 yards on four receptions. Corey Cox also had 41 yards on two receptions and a TD. The Al Hall had a TD. Daddy Williams had a TD. And Damian James had a TD. On the defensive side, we got Justin Martinez leading the way with 11 solo tackles, one assisted, and a TFL. Shout out to you, my boy. Cole Chandler had nine solo tackles. Caleb Jackson had seven solo tackles, two TFLs, and a sack. And John Walker had six solo tackles, two TFLs fails and a sack. Arsenio Patillo had two TFLs as well. Michael Pollard had two interceptions. So shout out to you, my boy. He got hands. If you throw it his way, he gonna catch it. And that's what I like. And Christian Ellis also had an interception. These two guys have been getting interceptions through the first three games. I think Michael Pollard has an interception in every single game this season, if I'm not mistaken. Might need to check on that, but I think he does. And I can't forget that Christian Ellis, his interception was was the pick six ran it back for 87 yards all right we only have two games around the country we got texas getting the win over cal 38 to 19 and we have number 10 nevada getting the win over ucla 27 to 7. all right if you take a look at the game stats we pretty much came out with a sense of urgency in the conference opener and we went 21 7 14 7 14 7 14 7. so we scored 14 plus points in each quarter and we come out with a 63 to 28 victory we did not win a first down battle but we win the rushing yard battle and ian chipped in as far as passing when we needed to we also won a turnover battle but 
but we did not win the time of possession battle, which is kind of weird because normally when a team wins the rushing yard battle, they win the time of possession battle. But Day Day was breaking off big long runs today, so kind of makes sense. Offensive play of the game goes to Day Day, of course, and the defensive play of the game goes to Michael Pollard with his two interceptions. That boy got hands. All right, let's take a look at the recruiting board. We are still in the lead on Darnell Mason Jr., Dexter Brady, Smokey Potts, Lightning McQueen, Clifford Franklin, Logan Murdoch. We are actually gaining on Booger Rams now, and can we get a visit? We can't get a visit. Let's get in before, right in before Texas. Actually, let's just do it against Oregon. We're leading on Frank St. Martin. We are leading on Eddie Lyons. We're actually in second for Zach Cunningham, and we can get a visit. Actually, let's do it as quick as possible as well. We are outside of the lock for Leland Clark, but we can get a visit, and we will do that against Oregon as well. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. And the rest of these guys. Let's see. We are we are gaining on this guy in the lead for him. Not looking good there. Looking good here. Looking good here. Also looking good here. Looking good there. We're gaining here. It's not a lot, but we're gaining. Don't like the looks of that. We're okay there. Okay. So we're pretty much looking good on all these guys. I gotta I gotta come in here and and spread out points to make it look okay. Yeah, we just need to add points. But I'll do that off screen. Okay, let's take a look at the top 25. We have Ohio State sitting at number one, Oregon at two, USC at three. So two teams from the Pac-12 in the top four right now. Syracuse at four, Oklahoma at five, Utah at six. That's another team from the Pac-12. Penn State at seven. That's the team we have on the schedule for the next episode, I think. And we got Georgia at eight, Nevada at nine, and East Carolina at 10. Let's scroll on down here. Miami drops from 4 to 13 after they lose and I bet we are at number 14. No, we're not. We're still at 15. They are not respecting us at all this year, bruh. But that's okay. We have the ability to change all that. So not really concerned about it right now. Um, Any other changes down here? Kentucky moves up three spots. Florida Atlantic is in here after they take down Miami. Not mad at that. Then we have North Texas at 25. All right, we have the conference standings. USC is currently sitting on top of the South. They are 2-0. Not mad at that. We are sitting at the second spot. We have one victory. On the north side, we got Stanford sitting on top. They are 2-0 in the conference. And they are the only team on that side that has a victory in the conference. All right, we got the Heisman watch. We got Ian Smith sitting on top still. So he's not really moving. All he has to do is keep doing what he does. He's leading the country in passing right now. I just don't like all the turnovers. If we can eliminate these turnovers. We did better this game. We did not throw three. <laughs> <laughs> like we did in the first two games. So we're making progress. Kyle McCord is sitting at the second spot and he's trending upward. Jamontez Woods is at the third spot. He's trending down. And we got Day Day trying to get away way to the top of the Heisman watch. Sitting at the fourth spot. If he keeps going in the direction he's going, he might be the best halfback in New Mexico Lobos history. But that's a long way to go. A long way to go to pass Nate. Just keep that in mind. I said that here in his third game. And then we have Jordan James from Oregon at the fifth spot. All right, if you made it to this part of the episode, you already know how it go on this show. It's the outro. LeBron James got our first victory in the Pac-12. That's a milestone. Even though it was a blowout, Oregon State didn't even deserve to be on the same field with us. But it's a win in the Pac-12. In the next episode, we have number seven Penn State on the schedule. Top 10 team, if we want to get inside the top 10, we need to knock off Penn State. Simple as that. It's a primetime game, national broadcast. It don't get no bigger than that. We got to show up under the bright lights at Penn State. Can we do it? I believe we can. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. Also slide in that comment section, talk to your boy. And if you are subscribed to the channel, if you're hitting that like button, if you're subscribed, y'all know what the deal is. You can't get on the shout out list. And the shout out list is getting long. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to keep reading this thing off because if it keeps getting longer, it's gonna make the episodes longer. And then next thing you know, we sitting at the episode and it's an hour long. <laughs> But anyway, let me read off this shout out list. Shout out to Michelle Jackson, Product Visuals, Optimal Prime 870, Eric Rams, Warmaster 777, Thomas Bays, Dare, Matt Aarons, Arsenio Patillo, Dionne Patterson, Andrew Minton, Roscoe underscore 34, JK YouTube, Clips, The General, 
Eagle Craft, Little Her Guy, Slut Truck 23, Tim Alvarez, Tony Hawkins, Caleb Harper, Jordan Barker, Afro Magic, Smoking Night 609, Ethan Marlowe, Aaron Meyer, Aaron Kaufman, Cameron Hewlett, Juan D, Matthew Dillard, Thunder Creek Sports, Crafty, Leland Clark, and the Rock and Roll Millennial. And like I say in every last single episode, I appreciate all you guys and gals for doing the things that you do. The ones that are subscribing to the channel, the ones that are hitting the like button, the ones that are in the comment section. All of those things matter. All of those things show YouTube that you guys like the content because if you just watch it, you don't hit the like button, you don't comment, you don't share it. YouTube thinks that people don't like the content. Simple as that. But just keep doing the things that you do and one day I might be a big YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? And y'all can come back and like, I remember I was there when he only had a thousand subscribers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much longer. I am your HC. This is the Lobo. series season four we're trying to kick down the door of the pack 12 but until next time i'm out